There's a guy going up there. Hopefully the smoke will at least blind him a little bit from the artillery. There's someone else taking shots to him already. It's going to take a while to get used to these thermals. I really don't like them, honestly. I feel like they take too much of the spotting game away. Um, hello. <laughs> I really should have seen you quicker. Smoke's not going to save there. But I suppose, you know, he may as well try. If he doesn't, he's dead anyway, so he doesn't get to use it. I don't see or hear anyone behind this rock. Someone's popped smoke at B and is capping. I don't think anyone should be able to get up behind me. There's enough snipers on that uh, ridge line. Hopefully no one comes up behind me anyway. And whatever cap B is driving off now. I think I hit a wreck. And turret shots. Challenger. Um I think that was just my engine I heard. These things are pretty loud when you actually start them moving. I saw that though. And Ariet. One of the problems that I have at every tier, no matter what Birk I'm playing, is that I spend so long just sitting in binoculars constantly. I think here it's probably going to be replaced by sitting in uh, in gun sights for the thermal view constantly. I could try and go around behind that guy to the right, but the thermal spotting, you know, I'm not exactly going to be well hidden. Am I? Hello. Two. And oh, clipped his engine. He spun direction, but he, yeah, he knows where I am. I think that was a shot, though. And there we go. I really don't like the thermals at all. Second one is dead. Um, this guy in the valley seems to be dead. I'm going to go back around to see, I think. Amex 10. Dead. Now, does smoke block thermals? Um, I mean, obviously, we've seen that smoke grenades do. Does the engine smoke block it? Does all smoke block it? it does it vary by tank? I've really not touched up tier that much. So I don't quite know how the smoke works for it. I was never a big fan of the uh, top tier gameplay to begin with, but throwing in thermals is just... Yeah, it's just cemented that, I think. Movement there, there you are. Centauro, Ch Centauro, I saw it. I'll never get the names right. Yeah, clearly smoke grenades block, um, block thermals. I can see that. There's two, one, uh, two, three, four, five. They're all AA though, so I don't think I'm in too, mi <laughs> too much trouble here, am I? Dead. And the Stormer, dead. That's alive because I can see the radar spinning. That's dead. Just farming AA now, basically. So all these people must have died two, three times? I think you get three spawns in an AA uh, for each nation, right? But if they're all on AA, I can I can just push in there, can't I? As long as I don't show them a full side to things like the uh, 
part. I should be fine. Um, my shots are rather, rather poor on these. I'm just kind of rushing it. I'm kind of used to the, you know, the centre mass shots with all the, the explosive shells at lower tier. I might need to repair my barrel. Uh, oh, three ammo as well. Ah. I really should have brought some heat for these, though. I think I it's completely uh, scrapped the idea, ditched it all at the start of the game. And there goes the uh, flat rack again. Two rounds left. And a dead 24. I should turn the thermals off. actually tell what's dead in a non-thermal site. Uh, you're spawn immune and that's my last shot. Yeah. Back in the way. It's been ages since I've seen this map. I'm pretty sure it's on my, uh, my dislike list actually. There's another one. Did he notice? Yes, there's another one. And another one there on the right. That one's definitely seen me. Uh, one there as well. Challenger. Um, I should be safe behind this block, right? But... Just in case he wiggles into position where he can see my lower plate or my turret ring. That engine is, I hope, my uh, my rando squad mate. So I'm just going back out. Uh, there he is. Oh yeah. Nice quick ace there. I, I'm assuming most people in this event are uh, as fresh to top tier as I am. Um, are you spawn immune? Surely not. Could be the rare instance of a ghost shell. Ooh. Uh, let's just, yeah, he's not going to back out. Let's get his track. And uh, flank around. Although he'll probably be repaired by the time I get there, I think. Um, I just saw that little red, red warning arrow. So is there someone going for A? Or is there a helo? That was a terrible shot, but it did the job. Run something other than an assist, please. Ow. Well, that was simple. I'm surprised how many people are carrying lower plate ammo, damn it. Oh, it's over at the cap, yeah. Okay, no turret drive, no drivers. We can't swivel this turret to face me, even if you can shoot. Now he definitely can't swivel, and the turret should be about there. Uh, but I got killed by a Centauro from the 
and the river. Two centaurs. I am. I noticed the thermals are a lot uh, lower resolution on this one. Still stupidly easy to spot everything though. But I think it's easy to actually tell what you're shooting at and like which part of the tank you're hitting without the thermals. So I bind them to like the mouse or something. Then I can spot with the thermals and then switch them off for the actual shot. They're really, really stupidly easy to see everything with though. It basically just completely removes soft cover. If any slither of your vehicle is showing through the bushes, they're gonna know you're there. And um, yeah, camouflage is just, uh, yeah, there's no blending in anymore. Now I lost my little uh, companion over here. What was it? That's a lot of tanks. Ow. That's going to be what killed the other Abrams. And there goes my bridge. Oh, sorry Abrams, I didn't realise you were coming up behind me. <laughs> Somehow through all that noise of the engine. Damn, I thought I would have got him. It didn't look like the shell actually continued, it seemed to stop at the driver. Hmm. Oh well, 